Bradley here. How did everything go earlier? Found someone who might be interested in the cause. Ready? Hello, everybody. My name is Super Splat, and welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. Let's play. Face in the Royal Court of Justice. Oh, for fuck's and sake. last time, so Albion we started the game. Jury and executioner. We and can all this time, any chance of a fair trial. Goodbye. Exactly. Lighting the spark, and then we are doing Albion a couple of recruitment missions. I realized during filming we of this that, data if we're that going to disrupt their operation. because I know I needed to record, or I need to um, recruit more people, so I realized. Um, why not do that after every mission? Granted, there's going to be a lot of people when it's all said and done. But, you know what? I figured to heck with it. So I can just have an array of people if I really need to, or if some that people are underperforming brilliant. than others. So That's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. So what's fun about doing a second playthrough on a game, especially something like this, is you get to pick up a little bit of tips and tricks that you will learn later on and you can use them earlier now to your advantage. And I will explain what I'm talking about as soon as we take care of this guy right here. And boop, boop, and boop. So the door behind us is locked. And the control box, our terminal, is way over there. And what you can do, instead of going over there and hacking it, is you can explode it. And it will unlock. So that's something neat and fun that you can do. <laughs> it makes everything a lot easier. Oh, also, that's what this is a part of, is... Uh, you can free all what the burrows if you want. For this playthrough, I am not because that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist, and this one runs so a community is shelter. Good um, God, bar your doors. What the hell? So of once you free a burrow, or towards yeah, make them defiant towards Albion, is systematically arresting people Albion and stuff. Um, Jokes on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing you to can, help uh, us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some blank of here. Uh, you get a free, you get an operative that will join What's dead sec. However, I don't ever really want to use them. Let the people of London know that dead sec is back, and the increased visibility might even encourage some of them to donate to the cause. in what they do. So. Would you fucking look at this? Everything around us is just defaced by Albion. They want to make us believe that they own this and city. There that they own is us. our next operative that we will it. recruit, and that will be. be that much less once you're done here. Let's you will see that at the end of the video. We'll and do. I did recruit a second, uh, a second person, but I goofed up on recording that mission. So yeah, <laughs> we won't. You know, maybe we'll get to see our second. Or our, our third operative later on, but for right now, you're not gonna see his recruitment. If you hijack that scissor lift, you could use it to access the rooftop. And I'll be honest, it's a lot harder than you think to try and find people that have like one has like one good perk and then one flaw. It's extremely difficult to do. <laughs> um, when I was searching for the second guy for the second operative, I struggled. Well, third in total, but whatever. Third, second person I get to recruit. Should put it that way. Um, it's super difficult to find people <laughs> like that. So, because um, there were some that I was thinking of recruiting, and then uh, the, the only flaw was that they were famous or they were like they would they would be easily noticed in public, and I just went sure and then i i'm like okay that's the only one i'm gonna find without the deep profiler and i ended up finding an older guy and i don't recall if what his flaw is i think just other than that he's an older person so disrupt the albion propaganda London know that Dead Sect is back. 
dead sec, not sect. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. So what now? I'm just being quiet because I got nothing else to say. <laughs> that must be found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Send me those location deets. But yeah, once you free a borough, some then somebody What's will up? want to join an expert of some, some, some Can't kind. Can't someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. That's what everyone should be doing. Not waiting for things to blow over. Newsflash, it bloody won't. Albion's getting stronger, and if we don't stop them now, we're as good as dead. So what have you got? Almost got clip finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. Damn straight. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross for the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics center. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission, and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. That's what we'll do then. Yeah, King's Cross is the location we have to go to, and it's like the only place Albion's I know in, operational in, in plans London. Are just what we needed to really get some traction. <laughs> we'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hybrid power gen. And I did that in my first playthrough. Was I like, cut him off? <laughs> They've out since I last saw. <laughs> totally didn't mean Any to, ideas? but my new drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too. Yeah. Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasty. We're going to need detailed specifications. Let's take a look, see then. Check this out. Cool, looks bloody complicated. Noosey's he's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to talk about anymore. <laughs> I'm just lost for words. Just it is what it is, just gameplay. This was fun to keep taking those drones offline so I don't get attacked. <laughs> I guess I can only talk about what's going on in real life. Um, it's cold outside and we just got like 40 inches worth of snow as I'm recording this. That's it. Use the code it's on the December 17th, 2020, and I feel like these Let's Play probably line. won't come out until uh, January, just because I want to get ahead of myself in recording these. So. Maybe I can record a batch and then upload a batch like right afterward, so... I was gonna say, did I leave in a loading screen? Nope. It's just a cutscene when you free a barrel. We got a gold mine of information out of St. Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up, borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DeadSec is here for them. Yep, I'm not doing that <laughs> for this playthrough. I'm not doing it. That was off the chain, mate. New DeadSec Too much work that I don't Albion feel like doing for a and let's play. Too. Thanks. Thank you. Now that you've shown the borough what Dead Tech is really all about, so. there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. Keep them coming. We always need fresh blood. 
Yeah, but we don't want to death on, so we don't always need fresh blood, but yeah. Yeah, then you get recruits. And they're always like top top level people, like there was one I used all the time, which was a spy. In my first playthrough, I used her all the time. All the time. Mostly because well, of the silence P90 P or P09, whatever the silence pistol is really nice. Of information. So now I spy to with have, my hypothetical so. eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. What did you find? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. And I'm constantly just scanning people looking for possible recruits. <laughs> That's what I'm always doing. And... I left this in because... I don't know. I think I'm supposed to take this out. You know what? I'm leaving it in because I'm too lazy to take it out. Yeah, I'm at this point I'm trying to figure out why I can't get rid of her. I thought, is it because of a a permadeath thing that you do that? But no, it's just you need to have uh, at least three people in your legion before you can uh, retire people. So that's that. So we recruit this woman here, Marie. Yep, I think I was supposed to cut that last bit out. I was What's her going story, the Maggie? She certainly popular. Oh, well. Not only does she have an active arrest warrant, but <laughs> the Kellys right have a bounty on her head. Actually, that's the opposite of popular, isn't it? Mate, what do you have to do to piss off that many people? Good question. You could dig around and see what turns up. Right, this is the place. I thought there was a transition in there. If there's not, I'm sorry. That was a jump cut. I feel like hit film doesn't really located the CTOS hub. Share my need for putting transitions in, <laughs> in like in rendering. I don't know, but or at least in preview. I mean, I should have put a the transition in there, but I guess I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, and I gave my our main operative here. I gave her. Some new drip threads. If that's something the kids say nowadays. Gave her some dope threads. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Quiet. There's something there. You didn't see nothing, mate. Just kidding. <laughs> No, you're dead. You hear that? You nasty ass prick. I disagree. I have a crowbar. I can beat you. Ah. Wow. I did horrible on this fight. Oh my god. Okay, there I blocked it. And skidoosh. I think there's some more Clan Kelly that we're finding out about it. I really didn't feel like shooting people, so I just kept hitting with my crowbar. Well, yeah, shooting a gun, well, I mean, it's not silence either, that would attract them, so. Keep hitting her with one, two, three. Whoa. And boom. Four. Clan Kelly has our friend ID'd as a highly dangerous vigilante. It seems she takes a rather literal view of crime fighting. She raids Clan Kelly properties and beats the absolute piss out of whoever runs them. Go after my own heart. We need her on the team. Tracking her optic. 
Looks like she's off to raid another compound at these coordinates. Let's see what our vigilante is made of. So she's an old biddy. So. That was the craziest shit I ever saw, fam. This lady runs in, yeah, and she just starts beating the fuck out of them proper hench gangsters. Took down like a dozen before they managed to knock her out and drag her inside. Fuck. She needs our help. She fucking well needs someone's help. Those wankers are camped out there. Pff, wouldn't want to be her right now, that's for damn sure. Sounds like she bit off more than she could chew. Let's help her out. We need folks like her on our side. I think I need to find out how to... Like, speed up the film in this. Just because this isn't just that very exciting, it's just gameplay. <laughs> I kept playing Game of Chicken with this guy. Construction guy is innocent, but I think I beat him up too. Yep. <laughs> He's innocent, but I beat him up. Where do I let him live? Hmm. I must have let him live. <laughs> Charlie just swinging the crowbar away. Oh my god, I can't hit him. It's just funny that I started doing this Let's Play um, when Cyberpunk 2077 is out <clears throat> to uh, mix reception. Oh yeah, this was a neat little not neat, annoying glitch that he that she kept wanting to pull her gun out and I could not figure out how to make her stop. <laughs> she kept pulling out, or no, she kept pulling out her crowbar and I'm trying to make her stop and she won't stop. <laughs> so I struggled with that for a bit and I just left that in there just because it's so bizarre. Um, but yeah, Cyberpunk. I don't have the game. I'm glad I don't. Um, I'm leaning toward thinking I'm going to get it, but I'm going to wait for PS5 to get it. I don't know what I kept looking for. I think I kept looking for the target, but I couldn't find her in the open world. Yep, and then there's these drones that are annoying as hell to deal with. And I'm still, she's still pulling out her crowbar. She's driving. Yep. This is so weird. I've never had this glitch before. And then, yeah, then I stopped it. The way to stop it is to pull your gun out. So, pull a weapon out. Yeah, there's like these, like, there's a whole bunch of different Albion drones. That one's the annoying one. I forget what it's called. If it's like the chase drone. No, it's not the chase drone. Uh, and I ended up, end up hacking the CTOS drone so I can find our target. somewhere. <laughs> That's her. Get her out of here. Now I know where I'm going. Oh, right, drone, that's what it was. I knew it. it was like something to do with people. I don't even know why I took this cargo drone. Oh, because I was going to use it as a vehicle. But then there was just some, like the riot drone was just everywhere that I just said to hell with it. It's not worth getting caught and then killed. I'm 
sitting here doing. I think just trying to bait off that. Oh, yeah, so I can knock him out. And I still get caught by the drone. Because they're everywhere. Thought there was a way around, there's not. I must have been deciding to fight the drone? I don't know. Oh yeah, then this was a pain in the ass. Like, I don't know what was going on. Yeah. Oh, it's the second time around. So, spoiler alert, I die. Well, no, first, I'm thinking, oh, okay, we'll just go this way. But, she hardly follows. She gets to this platform. And, oop. I thought she fell and died, I'll be honest. Um, so, yeah, I get up there, then I get down here to the floor, and she just gives up. She just gives up. She doesn't even attempt to get on the ground. She just gives up. I think I died. Here, fighting the drone. Yeah, I die. Yup. Terrorist drone. Yeah, then there's... Yeah, the other one. A riot drone. So, here we go. Attempt number two. Yeah, I'm leaving all this stuff in because it's content. <laughs> Luckily, they're all dead. Shut the fuck up. Yep, the hostage is here. Let's get her out. Luckily, everybody retains the status of whatever happened. And I struggled to free her. I don't know why. The button just was not showing up. Get her out. And then I attempt the same thing. Climb up here. Climb down here. And then she just is like, nope, I'm not doing that. I'll probably break my ankles trying to jump down from there. And that was annoying as hell. So I climb back up. And I take her back down the way I just came up. Because apparently, she can't do that. She's completely incompetent. Okay, hello. We're together now. And you can't go down, so we'll just go this way. <laughs> and I'm like really making sure she was following. Okay. I don't know why it's like you just get out of their sight like two seconds out of their sight and they're like completely incompetent to any Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she fell, and then the NPC is just chilling there. You know me? I'm a Clan Kelly person. And it's like, why do you gotta be, like, holding their hand? Yeah. Too far. It's like, you literally gotta handhold them. Otherwise, they're totally incompetent. I don't even understand how she got over there. Was it with her, or was it the other guy that I just could not get anybody to follow me. I think it might have been someone else. And boom, we're done. Looks like you avoided them. Are you okay? You don't get to be this old if you're easy to kill. Hey, I get it. I love direct action as much as the next vigilante, but some fights you just can't win on your own. You're lucky you didn't eat it back there. Tell you the truth, I started doing this because I felt bored. Needed something to shake up my routine. And the looks on those thugs' faces when they see little old me cock-slapping their hides around. 
Ah, oh, it's marvelous. It's a thrill that keeps me on this earth. You could really make a difference, you know. Join DedSec instead of sitting home on your ass. Right. Count me in. <laughs>